Let's take a look at the molecular geometry for CCL4, carbon tetrachloride. You can see in the Lewis structure there are four chlorine atoms on that central carbon, and according to valence shell electron pair repulsion theory, those chlorine atoms are going to spread out as far away as they can from each other while still being bonded to the central carbon. When they do that, we're going to have a tetrahedral molecular geometry, and that's going to look like this. The carbon will be in black, and then the chlorines are green. So you can see that they're spread out pretty much as far away from each other as they possibly can. We could also use the AXN notation to figure out the molecular geometry for CCL4. A, that's the central carbon. X, that's the number of atoms bonded to that central carbon. We have four chlorines, so we'll put a four right there. And then N, that's the number of non-bonding electrons on the central carbon. All of the electrons are involved in chemical bonds, so we can just ignore N. That gives us an AX4 notation. Now you could have memorized that that's tetrahedral, or you can look it up on a table if you have one available. Going down our table here, we have AX2, AX3, and there's AX4, which is tetrahedral, and the bond angles are 109.5 degrees. If we go back to our three-dimensional structure, we can see that tetrahedral shape, and you can see that the bond angles, this one right here, here, and the other ones are 109.5 degrees. So that's the molecular geometry for CCL4. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.